What do you all think you know about Milwaukee, besides the fact that you live here and we're all here today? What we're gonna, I'm going to talk about today is a big uh, humanities, digi mostly digital humanities research project that's run out of the history department uh, with a whole bunch of people, as you'll see, that uh, is deciding to improve this. So how do you know what you know? And what more do you want to know? And what do we here at UWM uh, do to uh, push that along, if you will? So that's what we're about. And it's a question that my colleague Amanda Seligman and I asked about a decade ago and have been sort of stewing over and working on ever since. So we thought of an encyclopedia. So an encyclopedia uh, is a book. But in this new world, it's also a digital website. And, it, and the new formats allow you to have pictures and maps and references and public commentary. And, it's, and here it is. So here we have, if you go to that website, on the UWM uh, website, uh, you will find emilwaukee.uwm.edu, which has been funded as and let me uh, emphasize Helmstetter's point, uh, the National Endowment for the Humanities, UW Milwaukee, the Greater Milwaukee Foundation, and lots of other formats. So what do you want to know? Want to know about the brewing industry? You can look it up. And here we have um, a, shot, a screenshot, basically, of the entries that are going up, where this is going up live, uh, a little bit more content every day. So there's our, so this is the big main entry on the brewing industry. You want to know about individual breweries? We can tell you we have entries on those as well. So what we've done is take industries and then companies and then drill down detail and more detail about these matters, right? All right? So you should see the big five up there, okay? Famous people, okay. Do you know who all these people are? Anybody want to name them? Right, Henry Meyer, Peck, George Peck, uh, Lloyd, Met Barbie. Lloyd Barbie, Meta Berger, who else? Billy Mitchell, ah, you passed on, we missed the last one. Okay, ordinary people, we're also doing lots and lots of entries and uh, research on baseball clubs and companies, you've got the, the Northwestern Mutual Life secretarial pool there. Um, you've got a tennis player out at the county grounds about 1926. Places, name these buildings. Right? Entries on all of them, where they came from, who, you know, why, and so forth. So we have the gas company, uh, the water tower, Miller Park, St. Joseph at, what's the one in the middle? Anybody recognize that? That's Pfister and Vogel, 1880s, right? right? So what do we have? Um, entries on the, the scope of the encyclopedia is the Milwaukee metropolitan area, which is the four counties. Uh, it's historical in scope, um, and it has very specific entries on individuals and peoples and companies, as well as big thematic es essays. It's both print and digital. Uh, the print is, the, the digital version is uh, developing and live now. Uh, the print version, on, when you have an A to Z encyclopedia, you can't uh, finish it until you get to Z. You, you know, if, if you're missing an M entry, you can't publish it. So we have to get it all done in the, roughly, probably in the next year and a half, so that it can, we get a book. So these are all the content areas. We sat down with a, um, with a, uh, a group of experts in Milwaukee history and area and put this, this sort of table of content area together over a year, about seven or eight years ago. We took that content area and then divided it up into 750 roughly individual um, entries anywhere from a couple hundred words to 3,000 words. Um, you see some examples there. There's a map that, that, of Greendale that will be in the encyclopedia that is in the encyclopedia. Uh, and we end up with 700,000 words. That's about seven monographs. Um, it's a lot of words, believe me. We're not alone in doing this. Many cities have, the, have put these projects together, and so you can see New York and Chicago and Philadelphia, excuse me, Philly's is only digital right now, Louisville and um, Indianapolis and Los Angeles. And so they're, they're somewhat different, but you can look for other cities as well. And our goals have been to integrate this into both the academic and the civic engagement um, activities here on campus, right? and to build a base upon which more research on Milwaukee can be done. Now, the 
question is, how do you do this? It's way beyond the capacity of individuals. So what we're go you're going to see is three slides of just names of people who've been involved in this. Amanda and I have been the, um, the PIs, if you will, from the start. And then the list gets bigger and bigger and bigger. Um, we, the editorial board was the initial group of people who put this uh, work together. Um, we have had volunteers, we have the people from our publisher, Northern Illinois University Press, and then we have a big long list from um, UWM Creative Services who've been the website uh, and developers and designers. And uh, 100, we didn't list the 175 uh, people out in the community who were writing for this. These are the graduate students who have worked on this project, mostly funded with federal funding, um, you know, the foundation funding, and UW, internal UWM funds for the last, say, seven or eight years. As you'll see in front of them, we put doctor. Some of them have received their PhDs and have moved on since they worked for the project. How does it cost? Well, it's expensive. It's a couple million dollars. Um, what's that pay for? It pays for the, 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 um, the researchers. It pays for all the technology because we have to buy the services of our creative services. And the materials and all the administrative and logistical work. We're constantly raising money uh, on this. And so I leave you with that. I would thank you and please go to it. We also have a print bibliography. We have Facebook. We have Twitter. And please enjoy. Thank you.